Okay, so today we're headed out by ourselves again. Uh, this time we're going towards the river. So you can see nobody's with us. And uh, he's doing fine. He, I don't think he's lost any weight yet. Okay, so this goes up and up for a long time. And uh, you get a really pretty view. The river is way down there. A good shadow of us going. Helps for you to see how he moves. This trail's pretty rocky. Oh, I gotta start ducking. Okay. So Simon wants to take a look at the river. And see where we're trying to go. Right? Good boy. All right. Let's see if we can make it down there in decent time. Oh, it's very rocky. You can still get some speed on here, but it's hard. He just put in a couple little cute canter steps. See, he's quite smooth. Okay, so we made it down here. We're of course, I had it turned off and two bikes just came flying by. But this guy was fine. More rocks to go through. I must have missed my turn, so we're going all the way. I know it's hot. Uh, we see a lot of this stuff. It's like... um. He doesn't care, but I think it's from mining gold or whatever. I'm sure it was a big deal in the 1800s, and I'm just, oh, it's just for gold. There's another. Oh, over there, you might as well feel like you're taking a trail ride with me. I'm going to go a little faster. Oh boy, so we're down to the water. I don't know if you can see there's kind of a shelf, so we'll go down. This is much closer than the other place to get in. Going down the sand, so we're kind of sliding. He's like, are you nut lady? So I want to go in, but not too far because then it drops down like 10 feet. <laughs> we don't want to float down the river, do we, Simon? No. Oh boy. So he's good. He has common sense. He's not like plunging in like some of the goofballs. falls. Okay, so I just made him come down this. He uh, is very careful with his feet, which I like, right? He's very careful. Oh, it's hard ride just for a tiny cookie. Yeah, right, you better fill up on water. I'm gonna jump in. Okay, we're uh, back on. He stood just great for me to get back on. And uh, we're headed home, so not antsy or anything like that. Just back to his regular self. That's his canner. And he just fell out of it into his rack. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> you can tell I like this guy. Okay, it's kind of rocky, but we're going to try and canter up it. Alright, that's 
<laughs> go pull ice down there. All right, it's way too rocky. <laughs> he got a couple good steps though. So we're gonna try for another little canner. His uh, left lead is better than his right, so I'm gonna ask for the canner with my right leg for his left lead. Didn't you know, didn't you see it? It was perfectly dirt. And then as soon as I started to ask for the canner, it turned straight to rocks. And Simon's smart enough not to be an idiot and just do what I say, but like, hmm, I think I'll be careful for you. So what a good boy. Hey, okay, so I think Simon's one of my favorites because I'm always training and doing all this stuff to correct horses and fix horses. And Simon's just like, hey, just sit back and relax. I got this. So, <laughs> so I got to teach him stuff in the arena. But trail-wise, he's a great horse. Just feels like he'll try to take care of you if he can, if you don't get in his way. Um, but half the time I'm riding with one hand on a loose rein. So he has a great temperament, but um, you know, somebody also taught him pretty well and didn't give him any bad behaviors. And we're almost home. This is a big hill that leads home, so we're going to gate on this. boy so sometimes he canters or he goes to get in the canter and he falls into the trot I'll fix that but um it always depends on how somebody's riding so if that happens just bring him back to the gate or walk and try again don't let him keep trotting because then they think that's okay so see now he's cantering but, but if he falls out of this like he just fell out of there I'm gonna walk and then I'll just start again. Canner. Walk. Anytime it's not good, you just come back to a walk and start again. Canner. Walk. Oh boy. Then when they do it right, walk and make a big fuss. Or you want to stop? He can have a break. Good boy. Now, yeah, enough cookies. Good boy. I'll try it again. I'm going to give a little half ult on the rain. The canner. Walk. So I know he kind of, unless it's a real big hill, he's kind of fallen out of the canter. So I'm only going to canter four or five steps and then walk. So that way it's my idea he comes back and not his until he builds up his uh, muscle strength to hold it longer. On the steeper hills, it's much easier for them to hold that canter. Okay, so this is kind of going uphill again, so we're going to try it again. I'm going to half halt on the reins, both reins, shift my weight to the right, and ask with the right leg canter. Walk. 
walk. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So see that time he cantered right off. But they got to understand what we want. And, uh, you know, if he gets the canter and then I run him two miles up the hill, well, next time he might not get the canter because he's not going to want to do that, <laughs> especially in the heat. So I'm going to walk him a little bit and then I'll try it again. So it's just practice. He's got the talent. Good boy. So I'm just waiting until he gets a little bit steeper. If you say the word in the arena and then you say the word on the trail, they start to associate, oh, well, I'm supposed to do that canter step. That's what she wants. All right, so this is a little steeper. We let him get some air, so I'm going to try it again. I'm going to shorten up on my reins. Oh, it was just, just to squeeze and relax on the reins so he knows something's coming. Shift my weight to the right, right leg canter. Walk. Good boy. So he's got it. So even if he goes a little bit fast into it, because sometimes they jump into it to get that lead, he's not going to take off. As soon as you pull on the reins, he comes back. But, you know, you have to get used to the horse. And then as he gets better, he won't jump into it as much. Um, he might not even jump into it as much next week, but just in case he does, don't ask him to canter. And then if they jump into it, pull on their mouth because then you just confuse the horse. They did what you wanted and then you pulled on them. So always let them, you know, canter at least a couple steps before you pull them back. So we're going to try it again. So half halt, which is squeeze and relax on the rein, right leg, canter. My reins are all floppy. Walk. Go boy. All right. So now we're we're pretty close to home. We just go up that hill and then I'm to that road, which I usually walk home. And that hill's not as good to canter, so I'm done canter and I just want him to relax and know as we get towards home not to get antsy, but it's a time to catch your air and uh, be calm because we don't want them to get barn sour. Hey, I'm just showing you I got off and uh, we're walking home. You see, he's, he walks home nice and respectfully. You just got to wiggle these um, reins, and that's for sport too. I teach him to back off when you wiggle the reins. So if they don't, you increase the pressure. You wiggle harder. If that doesn't work, you ta smack them in the chest with the reins or in the knees with your stick, and that'll do it. But they all know how to do it. My horses do, not all horses. Okay, but he was great on the trail. Okay, I'm going to make him go down this step once I get my butt down it. I'm doing it on the ground so you can actually stay, stay, so you can see. Go boy. He does a good job with his feet.